Hey guys, me and Henke are back. We are on one of the biggest lakes in Europe and we are on the hunt for big pike. Check this out. Back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> yep. Uh, nice. Oh. Yep. Oh. Nice. Oh, super fishing today. Oh, just gonna go back right away. And there is no hesitation. They hammer it so damn hard. And now you have the pike color on, yeah. on the bull team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say then you're gonna catch something it's a, too. It's a, it's a nice fish this, I think. Uh, in the past, fishing these areas, a lot of the pike that we catch have uh, burbot in the throat. Uh, you can really see those burbot tails sticking out. And a color that has been really good in this time of year when they're feeding after spawning and before spawning is actually our pike color. Uh, and if, you, if we see a burbot today in the mouth of a pike, I'm gonna show you because the color and the pattern of them are very similar to the pike lures we have actually, to the pike color. So that's why I started with a bull tease 24 uh, in, in the natural pike color. But if they're really on today, if that's the case, then we're gonna go up and fish the 30 centimeter bull tees and really target those hungry pike. Now we're coming up here on some shallow areas. We're gonna have about four meters up to two meters and then basically going up and down like that. Big rocks, stuff like that for them to hide, hide around. Super nice areas. And we can enc encounter both pre-spawn and post-spawn fish right here. Yeah, and I'm casting the 13 centimeter swim. Yeah. It's a really good search bait when you fish a bit faster and cover lots and lots of water. You can cast it to the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there's no limit. And <laughs> yeah, the 13 and a half centimeter is a fantastic 13, 13 size. 13 and a half. It's yeah. a fantastic size. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. On the swim. Yeah. Quite uh, fast retrieved. Ah, oh, how's it feel? Ah, it's an okay fish this. Nice. Yeah. Oof. We just came in here and came to the heart of the structure. Yeah. It was right on top of the structure. Nice. Yeah, whether you want it on this side. Yeah, doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. Yeah, it's a good, good one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! Oh, super fish. <laughs> good start. Wow. What a freaking yeah. tank. First fish. Yeah. Oh, look. What the hell what? is that? You were talking about burbot. This is a freaking burbot. Whoa. I told you about the burbot. <laughs> look, look at the size of it. What the hell? Yeah. Like, what the? Oh, there's two fish in here. <laughs> it's a big, <laughs> big ass burbot. I mean, it's, it's a huge burbot. Yeah. Cadaver. Henrik is gonna pose with two fish right now. <laughs> this is insane. This is the biggest burbot I've ever seen here. Yeah. I told you they eat burbot. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> Do you need the pliers? Yeah, I have it. Oh, you took them. Long and skinny. Yeah. On the 13.5 yeah, cool. centimeter swim. Sweet. Oh man, that burbot smells like shit. <laughs> oh. Check this out, it's a long fish. Super fish. Yeah. Yeah, super nice meter plus pike. That's a really good start. Yeah. Uh, on the 13.5 centimeter swim. Yeah, super fish, yeah. super fish. Really nice, let's release her. And let's check out what she threw up in the net. You can release it, so I'll yeah. take this one. All right, see you later, buddy. And as I was talking about, <laughs> they eat burbot here. Yeah, <laughs> and the size, like with the head, must yeah. have been here somewhere. And this whole part was like in the belly of the fish. You see, it's been digesting it. And this part is starting to rot out here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been swimming around with it like a weird cigar. <laughs> it must have been like 60 centimeters. <laughs> so don't be afraid to use big lures. So I'll probably try the, the nasty big bull tees mm. 30 right mm. now. Look out. 
That's why I said. <laughs> well, you can't really see the color because it's rotten now, but... Mm. <laughs> oh, it smells like shit. Dinner. Burbot. Uh, oh, nice, thank you. Burbot. Nice. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to show you uh, my basic practice for every time I use a new reel. In this case, this is the W6 Baycaster. The first I do is open the, the brake system here and check which centrifugal brakes are activated. And we have six of them on this reel. So I normally just press out two of them and you just push them out and then you know they're activated so they're loose like this. The other ones are pressed in so they're not activated. So two is mainly a good starting point, I think. Just close it again. And then we come to the tension knob. So basically, you just uh, let the spool loose and now it's just basically, there's no tension on it. So you just tighten it a little bit and you feel until it st stops wiggling. When it stops wiggling, that's when you know that the tension brake is actually working. So as long as it's wiggling, there's no tension on the knob at all. So you want to first tighten it until you feel that slack disappear and then you feel a little bit of tension on the line. And then you know it's starting to work and then you can just start activating it from there and fine-tuning it so just basically reeling the lure up pressing the button and just letting it fall and you want a little bit of tension on the line when it falls so just keep tightening it a little bit something like that now I have a little bit of tension it's falling a bit more controlled I have two of the uh, centrifugal brakes activated so I know I have a little bit of braking uh, once the spool is accelerating and a good uh, thinking point is if you're getting overruns in the beginning of the cast when the spool is, ac is accelerating then you need to add more brakes on the centrifugal system if you have problems in the end of the cast that's the tension knob on the side plate here so that's a good starting point now I can start taking a little bit easy cast, see how it feels, and then adjust on the fly. So this is mainly my starting point. Uh, it's been this for many years, doesn't matter what kind of reels I've been using. So these two systems work great together. And this is just my basic setup for, for a baitcaster. Yeah. Yeah. Henke is smoking hot on the swim right now. Yeah, the swim is doing it. How does it feel? Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, really good fish. Yeah, I can see it. Oof. Yeah, it's a long fish. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. It's a really big one. Keep coming. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, I need to I need to reel my loop. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm in the bottom. <laughs> I told you this is a good spot. <laughs> oh my god, Henke. I need to take a cast while you unhook that one. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm. That's a long one. Yeah. And a broad one. Man, the swim is on fire now, the 13 and a half. Oh my god. Yeah, so swim is on fire. Oof, oof, oof. Mm. That's a big fish. <laughs> now this is a really really nice pike so we will first weigh it and then measure it <laughs> Ten ninety-five. Yeah. <laughs> eleven kilo fish. Yeah. yeah, it's almost eleven kilos. It's just under. <laughs> yeah. See how Let's long see she how is. Long she is. Uh, okay, is she? Is she on it? Yeah. One sixteen. Super fish.
Whew. What a start, what a freaking fish. And on the 13.5 centimeter swim, it's a really new favorite lure. It's this been is, dominating uh, now. This is on, um, this is the sinking version. It's also in the, what's it called? The um, suspending. suspending version for more shallow fishing. Hey, it's a super lure. You cast it to the end of the world and it fish, fishes so effectively. Good stuff. The devil fish. Hmm. And the oh, 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 I saw it, I saw it. <laughs> it's not a big fish, but <laughs> it was just up smacking the 30 bull teeth. <laughs> Aggressive little fella. Yeah. Took it again. Yeah, I could just feel just a little nibble. See, it's such a big lure, he can't even handle it. He's hooked carefully on the outside. Let him go. That's the beauty of barbless hooks. Now, since the pike were really fired up and they were eating, you could see the giant burbot one of them had in their mouth. Uh, so I tried to just increase in size and see what reactions we'll get. Henke is still fishing 13 and a half centimeter swim, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> see no reason of no. changing that at the moment. So I'm just switching around a little bit, ended up on the 30 bull tees, just to see how, how crazy hungry they are. <laughs> so now we're fishing uh, along an edge here and we've found the water is much warmer. So it's quite close, close to the spawning base. It's close to open water, uh, but the temperature is over five degrees. And if you just move out a couple of hundred meters, it's basically two degrees. So we have a strip here with much hotter water. Yeah, so and just... all the action we have had from bigger fish is in this kind of temperature, so. Yeah, so in, in the springtime, the temperatures are uh, super important. And right now we're just following this edge, just hoping to, to find something big. And there's some really cool structures here, so there must be, must be good fish here. Yeah, for sure. Just keep grinding along this edge here, see what happens. It's super interesting because normally, like when the pike are so active like they are today and hammering the lures, like bigger lures is usually a key. But today, uh, Henke has been using the 13 and a half centimeter swim and just basically crushing me. It's been extremely, extremely good. I don't know if it's the rattles and the side to side action because it's completely different from a normal soft lure, but it's something with it that's just freaking amazing today. Uh, I've had two strikes on soft lures and they've been smaller. Henke has caught two big ones and just lost one that was maybe 95 meter maybe. Yeah, it was a good fish. Yeah. Uh, and he's been <clears throat> consistent with the swim. So it's just so interesting seeing how these different style of lures can work so differently. And today is a good example of that. Uh, so I ultimately had to switch to the swim because even though I like the concept that we fish two different style of lures, but after some certain degree of humiliation, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just a junkie as anyone. I love catching fish. The strike is just what we live for. So I'm gonna up my chances of getting a strike today. <laughs> oh, hey, fun fisk. Yes, we lost him. Nice. A <laughs> super small fish. <laughs> I thought it was a rock, so I was just ooh, slowly <laughs> lifting the rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am killing our average today, dude. Ooh. My average is killing us today. <laughs> well, I think we should keep uh, separate averages. No. It's the same average. <laughs> <laughs> you keep the average up, I just keep pushing it down. Oh. <laughs> Nobody likes a show off, so I'm just here to push him down. So he doesn't lose his foot from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
<clears throat> yep. Ah, nice. Oh, it's a net? No, we can take it just without the net. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice fish. <laughs> cool. Super sturdy fish. Yeah. Nice fish. Yeah. Look how wide she is. Very thick, healthy, yeah. healthy fish. Big head. Yeah. So we're out here day two now, fishing other areas. We have completely different conditions. It's quite windy, super cold. We have snow in the snow and rain. Super nice fish. Classic. Oh, this like 99. Cool. Beautiful fish. Beautiful start. And since we have completely different conditions now, it's just good. Henke is still using the swim. And I started with the bull tees just because we don't know if they're post-spawn or pre-spawn in this area. So I don't want to go too big or too small. Bull tees is always a snack. And I have the 14 gram switch weight. Super combo. <laughs> oh, another fish. <laughs> the small one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Super fun, we have some action in this shit weather. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa, Super nice, nice strike. <laughs> it's a good one, or? No, no. You want the net? No. No, I'll skip the net. <laughs> just so it doesn't tangle up. Uh, but they are hitting it hard. I mean, Oof. can you see a bull yeah, tease yeah, there? No, no. There is no bull tease. <laughs> completely inhaled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Woo. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> So oh, now we're fishing basically like yesterday, but more outer structure parts. So we're looking for fish that has either spawned for quite a while ago and moved out or uh, fish actually moving in for spawning quite late now. Uh, and the weather conditions today are actually horrible. Like it's super cold, uh, it's snow and rain, uh, but the pike are really active. So super fun. Uh, and like my best tip to, for people that fish structure because you don't have any visual aspects to really focus on so i always use mapping when i fish like this uh, i have the the, the side view uh, just normal 2d sonar also and then uh, the map and i use live mapping the garmin quick draw and that's probably my most important tool when it comes to this fishing i don't have any live scope on this boat so having the mapping lets me really know the area so just drifting, I know where there's small humps, I know where there's drop-offs or where it gets more shallow. So when you map an area, you can really start to see these patterns that they're not just anywhere. They're basically situated on small structure areas and you can really find those using live mapping because you get a visual representation of the area that is very key for this type of fishing, in my opinion. So uh, use any type of mapping. Live mapping is super, super good probably my most important tool for this type of fishing and then of course the side view lets me know how the structure looks so you can see if there's big rocks or if it's gravel or if it's sand or if it's like cliffs i'm looking for more structure more big rocks more up and down like deep shallow a lot of structure more structure the better pike like to ambush their prey in these type of areas oh. <laughs> nice that was a nice Good strike. Time. Super fun. I switched to the W2 rod now. Give it a good try. Absolutely hammered it far out in the cast. I love those strikes when you have a lot of line out. Our whole W2 rod series that we released this year. It's just a fantastic rod series. It's, it's mainly our most popular models from our other rod series, but it's much cheaper and it's a lot of bang for the buck. And actually the design comes from our old rod series uh, we had that became the W6. So it's a classic design, so it's super timeless and just looks very, very elegant. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Nice. Oh. Shaking. Uh -huh. It doesn't a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit better. 
Ah, oh, my shoot. It's a nice fish. It's a big one. <clears throat> Not super big, but. <laughs> it's a nice one. <laughs> yeah, it looked small ish <laughs> when I saw it in the surface there. Yeah, it's, so. it's not huge, but it's quite wide. It's very healthy. It was such a nice strike on the freaking bull yeah. piece. They are just hammering it right now. And yeah, nice test for the W2 rod also. Freaking hammered it so damn hard. <laughs> it was so cool. Yeah, no, he hit. Wow, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, I think this can be a good one. Yeah. It's a bit hard to say, it's far out. It was a freaking strike, I can tell you. We just moved drift here and it was the first cast here. That's a really nice fish. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah. Oof. Okay, in a minute. Yeah. Woo. It's a nice one. Another nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they are so, fr they are freaking crazy right yeah. now. Yeah. Woo. This was just situated quite up on top on the structure. First freaking cast here. I mean, they are killing it. Uh, it wasn't that big, but they're very sturdy here. Wide back and strong fish. Just the bull tees again. Just another sturdy, strong pike. <laughs> just check it super quick. Yeah, it's almost 105 again. <laughs> like two casts. And maybe it made one cast in between or something. <laughs> oh, super fishing today. Oh, just gonna go back right away. Ooh, so strong. <laughs> oh man. And there is no hesitation. They hammer it so damn hard. And now you have the pike color on, yeah. on the bolt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that you're gonna catch something it's a, too. It's a, it's a nice fish this, I think. Ooh. <laughs> uh, it's a heavy fish. It is? Yeah. <laughs> First cast with the pie color. First one. Good thing you started casting now. Yeah. <laughs> Man, they are stacked up on this structure here. Yeah. It's a nice fish. Yeah. Okay, here she comes. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I've been struggling for a bit. And then I changed to the pike collar. <laughs> and first, first freaking cost. Oh god damn. They are so incredibly active right now. Yeah. <laughs> I told Hank, yeah, just take a cast. <laughs> Amorous. And you had only one strike today. Yeah. And then you switched to the pike collar. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I need... Yeah. Give me a hand here with that. Sweet. Oh, can you get that hook? Yeah. Super. Woo. The real. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Now I'm in the game. Again. Yeah. <sighs> oh man, they are freaking crazy right yeah. now. <laughs> I, just, I, I just, I can't wait. I just, I need, need to fish. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> three casts. This is a small one. Uh, okay. you, can just, you can just ignore me. Just go put your fish back. <laughs> I will measure it quickly. <laughs> what the hell is happening? This oh, one this. is 109 or 108. <laughs> so it's a really long fish. It's crazy. Henke, what gear ratio on the reel do you prefer? Um, 
this is the HSG so high gear because I like to be able to take lots of line in to, to have pressure on the fish mm -hmm. uh, but for for the for the retrieve it's yeah, it's what you're used to yeah like you can you can use that gear ratio and uh, and real really really slow I think I'm too uh... Yeah. <laughs> too energetic to real slow. <laughs> I like the SSG model, the 5.6 to 1. For me it's easier to speed up if it's needed yeah. than to actually slow down a high speed reel. Yeah. But that's... Uh, I think like when you have this, I think you have a constant reeling speed when you like kind of zoom out and you've just been fishing for five yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah. Then you have a special speed that you automatically kind of tend to yeah. The real. It can uh, it can be a good thing to have different gear ratios on different rods. Yeah. So if it yeah if the fishing is not happening, just change the rod and you will fish a bit differently. Yeah. I have one uh, HSG actually rigged up. If like the fishing would be fast, could change to that one. Yeah. But for me, normally the SSG models. Slow speeds, slow minded and slow speed. That's me. Da. <laughs> <laughs> slow people. Yeah, yeah. slow speed. <laughs> and now we're really happy to have our own reels at Vesting Fishing. It was kind of the last piece of the puzzle since we have a very wide range of products and the W6 and W4 reels are just completing that large range. And now, of course they can be found in a bunch of different sizes. For me, the 50 size for perch has been fantastic. It can cast any lures, super small lures, no problem. And then when I fish like the monster stick, I use the 300. And on my hybrid cast or uh, the power strike, I use the 200 size model. It's just a super nimble little reel. and casts really, really well. And they have a really strong break. Yeah. So you don't have to overpower when mm. you tighten it. Yeah, that breaks reels if you do that all yeah. the time. It just feels bad when you have to like really <laughs> jank it. <laughs> It's a nice fish, I think. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> look how and look the at bolt the, <laughs> the bolt is it's completely inhaled. Wow. Beautiful fish. They're so Check healthy also. Look how white they are. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> Angry. Uh, nice. How does it feel? Yeah. Super nice. Really, really hard strike. <laughs> they are Super freaking hard. crazy right now. <laughs> Feisty as hell. That was insane. <laughs> oh, nice. So we have experienced some fantastic fishing yeah, it's these few days. Insane. One really big pike and a load of <laughs> awesome sized fish. Yeah, so much fun. And fantastic uh, two days. And we always get a lot of comments uh, after the videos uh, about what gear we use. So we'll just make a little run through what we've been using and what we like. And mainly we've both been fishing with the monster stick. Yeah, uh, Yeah. I've, I have only been fishing with the monster stick. Yeah. yeah. And that's cool with the monster stick because you can cast lures from 60 grams all the way up to 300 yeah, grams. I use it for all, all my medium and heavy pike fishing. Yeah. So it covers so many lures. And that's so cool with it because you can really use it to, for a lot of different style of baits. Uh, and I've been using the W2 series uh, and also the W4. And you've been using your W10. Yeah. And that's what's cool with our rod models because you like the monster stick. It's the same action, 
but it's just a different price point. So this is uh, just below 100 euros and this one is way more. Mm. And the biggest difference, of course, is the materials used and the design uh, is, of course, a lot higher on a W10. But for example, a W2 is just so much bang for the buck and it's been super fun trying it today. <laughs> a good day to try it. Mm, perfect day. I'm freaking hammering big yeah. fish yeah. all day. Uh, so the W2 series, just a super nice uh, rod series and, and a great addition to our range. And for, for me, for fishing swim, I've been using this rod a lot this year. It's the W2 Power Strike. It's a 7.3. Uh, very good for like small lures. It's a 60 gram casting weight. And just for the small swim and even the 10 centimeter swim or even the 8.5 centimeter swim, this is a really fun rod. And for me, like swim in this size, you don't need a lot of power to set the hooks because they don't really grip the lure. So it's just a really fun rod and perfect for people that do street fishing and stuff like that. You have this short back handle, you can jerk the lures and, and stuff. So it's actually a really nice and fun rod and it's been a great addition to my setup this year. And then from, from my medium sized lures is the hybrid cast, the W3 series. Used it a lot last year. Basically hard lures like the swim, it's a perfect rod, uh, raw bite, uh, shads up to about 18 centimeters. Uh, just a perfect rod for that. So I have three rods this year that I'm mainly focusing on, but like one of my favorite rods is the monster stick and it's been since I think 2015. It's just an awesome rod with a lot of capability like you said. Mm. You've been fishing it with the swim and bull tees and you can throw the bull tees 30. There's like the, 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 the range of the, yeah. the rod is just incredible. So uh, yeah, that's mainly. And mm. the W6 reels. Been using the W6 uh, baitcaster series. I've been using the slow speed model and you've been using the high high speed gear. Yeah. And it, that's just a personal preference, what you like. Uh, I'm slow minded, I use the slow speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, and, that, and also on my smaller rods, I use the, the 200 series uh, reel. This is the 300 and this is the 200. So perfect combos, fish really well, really good braking force mm. and uh, just all, all in all, a really nice reel. Yeah, mainly lures. Uh, you tried to swim early yesterday and directly you had two big fish on it. Yeah, so this one delivered good. 13.5 centimeter. Yeah. I've been using the bull tees a lot. I switched to the swim yesterday. Had no luck with that. <laughs> you were dominating. <laughs> and today I was dominating with the bull tees and mm. then you switched to that. Until I switched to <laughs> yeah. the same color. I tried around First with cast. these <laughs> other colors. But... No, they really wanted the pike. They wanted color this today. one, so yeah. Sometimes around spawning, after spawning, pike color can be freaking amazing. So mainly two lures have been really predominant. Yeah. I also had some fish on the 30 centimeter bull tees yesterday, but the 24 and the 13.5 swim have been key these two days. Yeah, and I would say these two are my go-to lures. Yeah. They really in like, most situations. Yeah. It's a perfect combination with those two. They're very different. Mm. Cool. So that's mainly the gear we'll be using. And then also something that's new to our range now is our switch weight system. It's just uh, different weights. And what's kind of special with ours, you have them up to 28 gram, which is mostly enough when you're fishing bigger lures and stuff. So having that in uh, 21 and 28 gram is just a fantastic addition. And they come in both lead and tungsten, which you prefer. So that's mainly the gear. Mm. So we hope you like this video as much as we did making it. Uh, like this uh, video, subscribe to the channel and go out fishing. Don't sit here by YouTube anymore. Just go out.